Hi everyone, welcome to your oracle card reading for the month of September. If you've done these with me before, you will know now is the time to get still, to say to yourself, universe, please guide me to the card that contains the message that I need to hear for the month of September. Set your intention. Set the intention of being guided to the card that is right for you. I'm setting that same intention for you right now as I shuffle. I'm going to pull three cards and then you're going to pick the one that you feel drawn to and that will be a, a message for you in that card. So set your intention and I'm going to pull three cards. Okay, so here's card number one. We'll just see what you're feeling, if anything jogging for you, card number two, card number three. Okay, so if you picked card number one, it is the card of spiritual awakening. This is an illuminating month for you. This is a time for you to journey within. You are being called to connect with the self. You are being called to remember who you truly are, that true self. We all have many personalities, but there is only one true self. It never changes. It's always that constant, that unwavering presence. And the only way, well, I shouldn't say the only way, but one of the main ways to tap into that feeling of presence is through meditation. It's through reflection, through self-awareness. Now, there are, there are many ways you can do it. Like I mentioned, meditation. You can also journal, you know, even seeing a therapist or a counselor or a healer. Anything that helps you to get in touch with the self. So this month is a time for you to take that journey inward. It's a very, um, a month where you should focus on peacefulness, maybe even a little bit of solitude, maybe keeping things really, really simple and using that you know, simplicity to focus on, to allow you to focus on um, how you're feeling, becoming present and aware of your body, becoming um, more aware of the needs and wants and desires of your body and your feelings and what they're communicating to you. So if you want to do a meditation practice, if you want to, you know, maybe go on a retreat, if you want to do something, read a book even that is... Um, you know, I'm helping you to activate different parts of your consciousness. This is the month to do it. It's always a wonderful month to do it, but you're really being called this month. So get out there, learn, get a mentor or, or open to a mentor, read a book, go on a retreat, book a retreat, um, or just start meditating. There's so many great apps, online videos. This is your spiritual calling for you this month. So tapping into that presence, that self, that stillness in whatever way feels right to you. Card number two is meant to be. This card is about self-acceptance. It's about accepting who you are, but also where you are. So even if things have felt unfair or challenging or difficult, this card comes as a reminder for you to surrender and to practice this idea that everything is as it should be, everything is as it's meant to be. Now, this can be difficult, especially if things have happened that you're like, no, no, it's not. This is terrible. This is not how it's meant to be. By sort of getting into that mindset, into that mindset or that space that, hmm, okay, can I allow some room? Can I allow some space for me to think that, for me to believe that this is where I'm meant to be? When you allow yourself to just go into that headspace, a shift happens, a transformation happens, painful things happen, unfair things happen happen but it is our choice or maybe even our ability or our magic to be able to take those painful unfair things and turn them into something good take that unfair hardship and and find the silver lining and and do something positive with it but we can't get to that state unless we surrender unless we bring in this self-acceptance that this card is asking us to do so this month your focus is going to be on surrendering and self-acceptance. And if it helps you, 
I am where I am meant to be. I am exactly where I need to be. Whatever version of those words you want to put together, saying that to yourself, repeating that to yourself, especially when you find yourself wishing that things were different or wanting, to think, uh, wanting things to be different than they are, say that affirmation, say that mantra, see if you can make room for that belief and then from there you will be able to make productive, positive changes and steps so your life is a bit more of a reflection of what you want it to be. Okay, card number three. This is the card of soulmate. Look at that. So this is a perfect month if you want for attracting a lover, a relationship, putting yourself out there. Um, it's also a wonderful month if you're in a relationship for strengthening and really working on that relationship, looking at ways that you can um, strengthen the things that are working or perhaps work on the things or the lack of communication or something that's maybe not working. It is a great power month for your relationships whether you're single or in a relationship, but on a deeper level, so beyond this sort of human idea of relationships, the soulmate card is also about connecting with the soul mates that you have in this life. And this goes beyond romantic connection. Our soulmates can be our enemy, a teacher, a random person passing us by, a pet or an animal. I use soulmate to define anything, a person or an animal that crosses your path, that is part of your soul group and that encounter helps to activate your soul or remind your soul of why it is that you are here or what it is that you need to be doing on your journey. Meeting a soulmate, a person that activates our soul is a sign that we are on the right path. Maybe we need to head in a new direction on that path. Maybe we're awakening to a new gift, but we all have a group or a team of soulmates that we meet every now and again or that we encounter who help activate our soul, our soul purpose, our soul lessons and our soul journey. And that very well may be something coming for you this month. You may have a random encounter. Maybe stay open to random encounters, people that you feel a strong connection to, a prophetic message that seems to come in at the right time, or even a prophetic um, you know, animal experience, seeing a raven or seeing a, a hawk or, you know, an animal that you don't normally see, paying attention to number patterns and number signs, your soul is speaking to you this month and there's something, some little, um, you know, twist on the journey or lesson or purpose that's going to be activated for you this month on a soul level. So that's beautiful. So there's a bit of two layers to this card. Yes, it relates to our love and relationships, but it also relates to our soul journey and what we are here to do. So I hope you enjoyed that reading. I hope you found some message for you there in the cards. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful month of September.